So this video is going to be about how to send emails with your Dialogflow AI chatbot and essentially what you're going to need need for sending emails uh, with your chatbot is the inline editor which is in fulfillment. So where you're, going to, where you're going to find your fulfillment is clicking the tab right here on Dialogflow. So so what so what you're going to need to do is in the inline editor you want to add a function called email and before you even add this function i for, i forgot to say this every time but you want to go into package.json and then go to dependencies and then in dependencies you're going to add no mailer and then you're going to add this line of code so if you want you can pause the video and then add this line of code in the dependencies so essentially what, what this does is it imports this thing called no mailer, which is an API which lets you email uh email anything through your chatbot to another to another Gmail account or email account like Yahoo or whatever what whatsoever it may be. So the first thing you want to do is add a function and then in my in my case I used uh I added these const va uh constant variables and or uh, for the phone number, name, email, and question. So what this is, is when a user has a question and wants to address it personally, or wants to address it uh, towards the company itself or the, or the company's email or customer service, um, the chatbot will collect their phone number, name, email, and question, and then email it to the, the company's or the client's uh, email account and they will get their the question and the customer's the customer's question email phone number and name so as you can see in the function i declared all these variables and i got the phone number by the way these are all these are all um i would say if i go to intents if i go to my intent which i enabled the fulfillment so if i go over here as you can see we got these are all entities so i got sys dot and sys dot person email phone number these are all entities and then the way i made this intent work with the fulfillment in the first place is enable webhook call for this intent so what what, what it means by webhook call is when you have an intent map set to it so the so where you want to put this intent map is in your fulfillment code in uh, node.js if you're using javascript and you want to put it under these two lines of code so these are already going to be pre-typed and you want to put this under these two like for this so what you want to put your intent name which you want to um, use your emailing function for in my case i used the fallback intent yes and you want to name it email so <clears throat> so while adding these functions you want to make sure that you have an you declare another variable called no mailer which requires this so what this no mailer is it basically calls the dependencies from the dot json file and it actually uses it so you can actually send emails and then you want to use a transporter so you want to create a transport so what a transport basically is is the account you're going to send the emails uh, to so I mean the account that's sending the emails so in my case I just use sample at gmail.com and passwords so over here you want to put the password of your gmail.com of your gmail account so I didn't be my recording okay I, I thought I wasn't recording so yeah I put the reason why I didn't really put my real email and real password is because I don't want to give you guys my password yeah and yeah so you basically want to add so you want to first put the service so in my case i'm using gmail and then you want to put your gmail account and then your password username and password and then for uh const mail option options you want to put the sender address and the receiver address so the sender address would be basically your uh this one and the receiver address would be the company itself. So let's say it's gonna be company .com or client or whatever it may be. So then here, 
here is a subject which is a subject of the email which is basically the basically the headline so as you can see I put demo chatbot customer service customer question and then HTML is basically the text in the email so I put my name here email phone number and then the question at the last so this is going to uh, basically be the text under the subject and then lastly you want to have an error function so basically what what it's going to do is you're going to get the transporter to send the mail and then if the function receives an error it's, go it's going to print error in the console log so you're not going to really so the user is not uh, going to see whether um, whether it didn't send the email or not However, it's gonna send them, it's not gonna really respond to them saying that uh, there's an error, but it is gonna say that um, uh, um, that your email is wrong or your phone number is invalid or your uh, question is invalid. And it's gonna ask them to retype their email, phone number, question, number, whatever it may be. And this is gonna basically be printed in um, the uh, the source code that's going to be in the output so I can basically see this in in the Google Cloud Services uh, Google Cloud Service platform I can basically see the, the logs and the errors and everything like that or whoever I'm getting this in. so this is basically it for the video I'm going to show you an example of how it works so this is the kind of the exact code I use in my in my fulfillment and for my job except you know the email and everything like you know like my, is my email password and username would already be typed in for me i mean i typed it from for me already so i don't want to give you guys my password so let's say let's say if i want to say that you know random question let's say My phone number is so my phone I'm gonna put some random number. Please enter your question or comment. So let's say my question would be um what it oh do you have Black Friday deals do or cyber cyber? sure that my spelling is right okay so the, as you can say it, at the fix the code it should be capitalized but at least I saw that at the fix the code so like it's gonna send uh, pretend this is a company's email there we go we got the email and uh, this is I'm gonna have to fix that this is something related, related to my name since my name is not really into the intent since my name is apparently not in the Google's registry registry but if you put a name like Max or like something that's really common in the United States you, you it's gonna work and we got my email my phone number and the question and comment that I had so this this will be fixed in the future with the entity with the sys, sys dot person entity it's going to be fixed in the future so you don't really have to worry about that but at least we got the important stuff which is the email phone number and especially the question or comment that the user had so that's going to wrap it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if i get any viewers uh that actually uh, need help with um emailing with their chatbot then please like like the video subscribe uh, if you have any questions just comment it out I'll reply to you as soon as possible and peace out.